today I'm opening every box of Pokemon 151. From the Elite Trainer Box all the way to the Poster Collection Box. Beginning with the Elite Trainer Box, Pokemon 151. One of the biggest sets to be released with tons of amazing cards that we will hopefully pull today. Getting right into the Elite Trainer Box, and what is this? The player's guide. It's not like the shiny plastic. It's now just paper. What? Anyway, let's take a quick see look see. Oh, look at these cards. Giovanni's Charisma, Erica's Invitation. I know lots want to go for that Alakazam EX, the Zapdos, the Golden Cards, the Trainers. Oh, look at that Charizard flying and oh my, there, there's just tons of amazing cards. Still interesting that this is paper, but uh, if you yourself want a chance at two Scarlet and Violet ETBs of 151, subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video and let me know. Easy question. What is your favorite Pokemon from the OG, the original 151 in the comment section of this video. At least this is gorgeous. It's like my shirt that has all the Pokemon on it. Or at least all of the, you know, a lot of the Gen 1 Pokemon. I'm so excited for this. This has been incredible. I opened up a Japanese box before, but I have not yet opened up for even that matter, even seen an opening of the English set. I like going into it relatively uh, not knowing even though a lot of the cards are the same from the Japanese. There's the Snorlax with the little Pidgey on it. You get a brick, you get a code. There's a code for the whole thing. You get the damage counters and poison, which are the same. Here's the dice. That's honestly pretty disappointing. It's just a clear translucent dice. It does say EX on it, but nothing crazy on there. So I'm gonna put all this over here in a large pile because we got lots of opening up to do. Look at these packs, they're beautiful. If you would like to purchase Scarlet and Violet ETBs and other stuff from 151, check out rarecandy.com, rarecandy.com. Oh, don't wanna spoil it. That's where you can yourself get some great product. I'll just have that. I think it's just one, unless they changed it up. Oh, wow. Look at the energy. It's got like the old Cosmos foil type of energy to it. Unless that's like special, I don't think so. That's like the best energy ever, other than getting psychic. So I'll get, I'll go a bit slower at the beginning and then can go a bit faster, just making sure it's in focus for y'all. Oddish, Mankey, Meowth. I can say all the names of these Pokemon. <laughs> Not so much Gen 9. Hypno, creepy. Mr. Mime. And look at the psychic energies and all the symbols on the back right here. That's really cool. A Pettis and a beautiful Gengar. Remember pulling this one from the Japanese set of it. Very, very nice. 151, what a set that we have been waiting for. This is also in the way over here. Um, I guess I can show these. Now the official release date should be tomorrow. Uh, so that's why I am opening it up today. That is the official like embargo date on opening it up. So I wanted to wait to open it up at the appropriate time. A beautiful Raichu. I do we have pulled it already. What's behind it? It's the Agus Invitation. What a pack. What a pack. A Mew EX Gold and Erica's Invitation. We're not getting through this opening today, are we, folks? Look at that combo. I'm, I'm gonna guess that this set is probably just gonna be crazy hit after hit after hit. That's kind of how Scarlet and Violet has been as a set. But that being said, as we have Psychic Energy, I'm not doing the guess the energy, I'm sorry. Um, but that being said, I still haven't pulled some cards from this previous set, it's like the rare candy. I'm a star. Oh, look at that beautiful dragon air. We're gonna have fun with this set, aren't we? Wheezing. Yes, you can call me a Gen 1-er. That's okay. It is, in fact, the best generation. And, and Pokemon knows that it is. That's why they're always going back to it. It's what most people in the world know. The OG 151. You can see post around the internet and stuff. And you get a lot of times of casuals and stuff that are like, Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. Bye bye flight. 
That's gotta be from like when Ash lets uh, Butterfree go, but Butterfree does come back. A Pidgeotto and a Wigglytuff EX. All right, so I, I, I just have to say the Golden Mew uh, was beautiful. What a card. What an absolute beautiful. There's the other products that we're gonna be opening up today, so stay tuned for all of those. Kadabra, Ivysaur, Farfetch'd, Clefable, Starmie is the holographic. Man, when you just get a holographic from a pack, you seem a bit down about it, but seriously, guys, uh, I'm excited to open up the set. So look at that. I, I guess this is a new type of thing they're doing, is we had the, uh, now we gotta get all of the energies that are in this Cosmos foil style. That's great, so we have the lightning and the fighting energy, so I'll put that in the pile. There's a Psyduck. Um, as I try to get through these beautiful cards, uh, the previous video that I did on the channel um, is a very, very special video. Bellsprout and a Mewtwo. The video, as you're probably seeing or have been seeing, is uh, I surprised um, a child that is suffering from stage four pancreatic cancer, uh, his ultimate Pokemon day that his dream was to do and record a video with myself and meet me. So uh, the original organization called Jamie's Dream Team uh, reached out to me to see if I wanted to do that. And I'm like, sure, let's fly him over here. So we flew, his name is Aiden. Uh, we flew him down and essentially did uh, a Pokemon card shopping spree. We opened up vintage packs. I gave him heavy ones. And yes, he did pull a Charizard in the video. We even had like, just 30, is this is beautiful, like 30-ish Pokemon fans from the community all come to like a red or purple carpet, which is supposed to be red, uh, to a local card store here in Dallas and all just cheered him on uh, as he was, this was all a surprise. It, well, no, no, it was a lot of fun. We surprised him with another YouTuber that he likes, went to their studio, played some Pixelmon, it was incredible. And it's all in that action-packed video, which you can go watch. Uh, link will be in the description if you would like to watch that video as soon as you're done watching this one. One of the birds! I guess this 151 is supposed to be kind of like, I mean, it's a subset, but just like Hidden Fates from 2019. What a joyous time. That was a great set. Oh, we got the leaf energy now! Very nice! Magnemite, Caterpie, Eevee, oh, Antique Dome Fossil. Very nice, Hitmon, Jackie Chan, Seeking. But if you wanna go check out that video, uh, it will be linked in the description below. Chansey, now if I'm missing any cool stuff, as wait, we're already done. Let's actually move on to the next thing, a poster collection box. Now, very curious about this specific product. Why, because it has, with, I mean, I, I, the, the original starters, which obviously Squirtle's the best out of all of them. But let's check out this really cool uh, poster. So coming out here, if I can, oh, the back of the poster. Okay, I'll show you this part, but you gotta see the back of this poster. So here's all 151 silhouettes of the Pokemon. Would be really cool to frame this, but guys, check this out. The actual other side. Hopefully it's getting zoomed in to see all of the artwork from the different cards that are in this set, all in Pokédex, or at least order on here it looks like. So very cool, the actual poster itself. Uh, and I guess that's the main kind of dish from this other than, let's see, the actual starters. So you have a code, I'll let y'all have that code. And let's check it out. Love the hollow foil pattern on this one. There's the Charmander, kind of a weird face. I'm not fake making fun of Charmander. There's the best one, Squirtle. And then there's Bulbasaur. I thought that was a tree, but I thought that was like a Pidgey for a sec. So just so you can see all three of them, there they are. So that is the poster collection box. We have a binder collection box, which we'll be getting to. But we got three packs from this, so it's nice. The binder will be really, really cool to put all the best pools in. 
but there's just so many pulls in this. There's also a booster bundle, which we'll be getting to. So we still got some more of those hollow foil energies, and I still have not done one guess the energy today. I need to, I'll do it in the next pack. Remind me, please, Krabby and a Machamp. Standing in the middle of a rock quarry or, or something. Guess the energy, yes, psychic energy. Just getting a little too excited about this set. So that one pack so far though, the beginning was incredible. Clefairy, Machop, Ivy, Slowbro, Machoke, right on, and Mr. Mime. That is really, really creepy. What are they doing? What are they doing? Mr. Mime again. What are the odds? What are the odds? Moving on to the next pack. Uh, of the final pack of the poster collection box. There's the code yonder. There's the psychic, at least I did psychic energy for the previous pack. One guess the energy today. Tangela, Reaching, Dugong, Hitmonchan, Seeking, Arcanine, Charmeleon, beautiful looking card. River, I mean the rare is a holographic Vaporia. Moving on. We now have a beautiful binder. Collect these boxes are just, I, I will say, I was a little upset that, not that it really matters, I'm just saying my personal opinion. The Elite Trainer Box Player's Guide was now paper. Uh, you know, when they made the move to sleeves, I was a little upset, like the sleeves are a different quality and stuff, but man, this is nice though, look at that. What's on the inside, do we get anything or is it just, oh, missing no paper. And then, put all the cards in there, but there's one side, and there's the other. This is great. Like, I, I wanna use this. I'll use this. Probably for if we, you know, do any future videos on the set and try to complete the entire set, which I probably will try to do. But let's see what we can do in the binder collection box. So, all of these products you can go get on rarecandy.com. So please check out rarecandy.com if you would like to go get your very own binder collection. Hopefully they're not sold out by now, but I'll let y'all go take a look. Machamp, Dodu, and a Charizard. It's not gonna get old pulling a Charizard, huh? A full R Charizard, beautiful. I'll take that. I'm sure that won't be too crazy rare, but it's just, I told you, the Gen 1-er in me is just getting to me right now. I mean, we're getting as we get, look at that. Not only is it psychic energy, guys, there is not one, but two swirls on this thing. Uh, we got four of the energies. We've got Drowsy, creepily sitting on a roof. Dratini, Leftovers, Persian, Muck, Ponyta, Nitto King. And a Jolteon. So we got, unless I don't think we've pulled a Flareon, but um, we've gotten some very, very nice evolutions. Uh, Psychic. Oh, Pat's on back! If at one time, it's only the second time I remembered to do the Guess the Energy today. And we got it. Seedra, Kabuto, Muck, Seedra, Aerodactyl with some very nice stencil drawing. Kanda is the illustrator for that one. Final pack from this one. We do have more products to open up today in today's action-packed Leaf Energy. Pokemon 151, opening up every box of Pokemon cards for the set that I have. Tentacool, Ghastly, and Amistar. Next product time is this, a six pack Booster Bundle. So you've seen these, these are a relatively new product that Pokemon has been, you know, only the past couple years or so been releasing. Uh, but you know, now they're all in like the, you know, the usual big stores and stuff. So, and also on rarecandy.com. Anything in here? No, it's just, if you just want six packs, it is what it is, a Booster Bundle. All right, we got some more incredible energies to pull, lots of, special illustration cards to pull. Uh, dark energy. There's lightning. Now something is very shiny at the end of this. I'm hoping it is a very nice special card. Hypno, or is it a hollow? Yep, it's a hollow, but it's Gyarados. Shout out to the Gyarados fans out there. Don't forget, chance for two 151 ETBs going to two of y'all at home. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video. Let me know your favorite 151 Pokemon, Leaf Energy. 
in the comment section below. I will respond personally as well as announcing it. So there's Squirtle. I haven't pulled that card yet, I think. Love it. Uh, with my verified profile. So you will see a check mark by it. Otherwise, as we get another Dub Birds! If, you, if you're, a, if you're a, a legacy member here on the channel, you know everything of with Dub Birds from Hidden Fates. Fighting energy. Let us see it. Dome Fossil, Weedle, Zubat, Goldeen, Onyx, Dragonair, Seedra, Vileplume, Graveler, and another Aerodactyl. So, so far, we have had decent, I mean, great pulls from that one pack fighting energy again. There's Leaf Energy. We have pulled that one, so that's okay. Pidgey, Poliwhirl, Kakuna. Oh, and I completely forgot, as we have Kadabra, welcome back. There was a whole issue with the legal issues and stuff from the Magician. Raichu, never give up, Raichu. Um, I'm getting onto so many topics right now, but I believe there is such thing as a God Pack for the English set, for what would be fighting energy. For what would be, I believe, the first time in a set like this to have a God Pack where it has multiple great cards. Oh my goodness, and a ditto! Right, first off, I love this ditto. Second, look at that. We have gotten multiple invitations from Erica. How you doing? My name's Lee. Erica's invitation. My goodness, that is beautiful. Uh, I'm even completely what I, I'm forgetting what I'm trying to say right now, but in any case, psychic energy again. Let us see. Now, we have more packs that we're getting into right now. But October 6th is the next release date of products like the Ultra Premium Collection Box from Pokemon 151. There's also an Alakazam box, Fighting Energy. There's also a Zapdos box and some mini tins because we all love mini tins. All of those products are should be coming out, I believe even the mini tins, on October 6th. So just a couple weeks away, you'll be getting some more Scarlet and Violet 151 product. Uh, what about fire energy? Um, but for now, we got more packs to open up today, and I want to see some more incredible pulls. There we go, we got a war turtle. I remember pulling an actual god pack from, and I love that ditto, from the uh, Jap one of the Japanese booster boxes. I did a video on it where in that video I did pull uh, a god pack, which included like the whole line, or at least if I remember correctly, fighting energy. <gasps> we got the water! We got the water! Speaking of war turtle, but it was like all the different like squirtles and stuff, if I remember correctly. It was beautiful. And hopefully we can get something like that today. There's a very nice Dragonite. Gotta have that part of it. Are these all upside down? Upside down, but I'll just go willy nilly from pack to pack and see what we can do in these. I don't know why I'm not showing some of the codes. I guess fighting energy. Very nice, not only, well, we pulled that one. Pat's on back, but we have pulled that one before. And it is. And that would be a nice little addition to the Guess the Energy game is to say if it's the holofoil pattern. Kadabra Reverse and an Aerodactyl. So 151, excited that the set is finally here. It has been Leaf Energy. It has been quite a while since it was announced from the Japanese set to now finally being here in English. And you know, I'm just excited that we have another really fun set. Obsidian Flames was great. Uh, I still have plenty of pulls from Obsidian Flames, uh, Leaf Energy, that I need to do. Pidgey, Metapod doing something to a tree. Ponyta, Poliwag, Venomoth, Rap, Marowak, Ivysaur, and a Gyarados. I mean, this is a fun set. And usually, as I said before, the pull rates and stuff for Scarlet and Violet have been a bit extra. Water Energy. Lightning, we have pulled that one before. Porygon, Puffiffy. Um, however, I, I like it when it's a bit harder to pull some of the cards, but when there is so many incredible cards in this set, like you've seen, you gotta pull something, Leaf Energy, at least occasionally. So there's Pikachu, Farfetch'd. I think Pikachu has a card where he's like walking on the street or something, special art. Ralph and a Raichu, so you can't beat that. A Pikachu and a Raichu in the same pack itself. Let us 
Continue Water Energy, Grimer, Psyduck, Ekans, Cubone, Nidoran, Oddish, Kadabra, and there's a Venusaur EX. All righty then. I guess in a way this sets, well, I was gonna say kind of like X and Y because it has the Blastoise and Venusaur, but not really. What have I not said? Metal Energy. <laughs> Look at that slow poke. And I like the uh, that Magmar illustration. I mean, I really like a lot of these illustrations. There's Snorlax, Tangela, and we have now been pulling that Aerodactyl quite a bit. So let's us continue. And all of these packs are just from ETB's Fighting Energy. Fire Energy, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Scythe, Scythe, Marowak, and let us continue and see what else we shall get. Fighting Energy, Pidgey, Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangula, Graveler, Dugtrio, Drowsy, and another Mewtwo holographic card, but It'd be cool if they do, uh, you know, this kind of thing for every single generation. Fighting energy. I mean, there's so many incredible ideas. Nice Charmander. Uh, it's like Poltergeist Charmander. His head is turned around. <laughs> that could be a new nickname for it. Ivysaur and a Jolteon. I think we still need the Flareon. Uh, if they do this type of thing for like every single set would be really cool. But then again, they, I think they kind of botched Shining Fates. Fighting energy because it was kind of like supposed to be like the next Hidden Fates. Too many new Pokemon were in it. And again, I know, you want to promote your new Pokemon and stuff. It just didn't feel the same. It didn't have the same like quality feeling to, I'm talking Shining Fates compared to Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, like even now, it's just, you want to open that up, Lightning Energy, uh, Fighting Energy, because there's just so many incredible cards that you want to pull, not just that shiny Charizard. Charmander, Growlithe, Gengar. You know what? We haven't really pulled anything too crazy right now. So I think we're due for something. Water energy. There we nice. There we go. Pats on back. Vulpix, Magnemite, Caterpie, Eevee, Sandy, Nidorino, Golduck, Golduck times two. Blastoise EX. Goes well with the Venusaur. I think the literal other ultra rare that we have pulled is the Blastoise. I mean, is the Venusaur fighting energy. So the Blastoise does go well with that Venusaur EX. Executor reminds me of the secret rares from Evolutions. Weezing. So we'll continue with these loose packs of 151, hoping to pull some more, uh, you know, fighting energy. There's another water. Pulled those. Um, have we not pulled a fire energy of the hollow foil ones? Bill, I mean, there's just so many incredible cards. Like, in a way, I'm like, I'm happy that uh, we've kind of cooled off just a little bit on some of these uh, extra packs and stuff here. But that being said, lightning energy. Let's go. Let us get something. Everyone at home, let us go get a Dragonite. No, for this pack, put your hands in the air, everyone. That is it, I'm collecting all the energy right now. Not your life force, you need that, leaf energy. But let us get something nice in this pack. Clefable, Tentacruel, Charmander, a Bulbasaur. You can barely see it, and a Mewtwo. But I will take that Bulbasaur in hopes of, you know, it looks like, that, like, like the, the whole set of like the Ivysaur, Fire Energy, to the Venusaur is probably got to be some incredible artwork. Uh, Nidorino, Executor, Golduck, Tangula, and a Gyarados. So moving on to the next pack. And we have a Lightning Energy. There's Fire! Yes! Fire! I, I feel like we are getting close to getting all of those energies, but maybe not. Hitmonlee. War Turtle, Hypno, Coffee Metapod, Dodrio. Moving on! Next pack. Let us see what we can do. There's the code for that one. Water Energy. And away we go. Bulbasaur, Dratini, Growlithe, Geodude, Arcanine, Kingler, Snorlax, Cloyster, Grimer. We got a Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan EX, Provincial Fury. So that was always what I think of the Parental Fury move from a previous Kangaskhan card. 
sometimes I've just got to get going. Pettis is actually a Pokemon I really liked from that original episode, showing the scaredy pants Pettis. There we go. So now we have pulled all the evolutions uh, with Flareon, all the evolutions from Gen 1, might I clarify. Uh, but we still got some more fighting energy, energies to go of the holofoil energies. There's Poltergeist, Charmander, Honda, Golduck, Clefairy, Magneton. There's a Beedrill. Beedrill's kind of a scary Pokemon. Why? Because it has the little pointer things at the end, the stingers. Water energy. Seals dead. <laughs> Dote Duo, Tauros, Kadabra, Ivysaur, Nidoran, Meowth, and Oraichu. Uh, you know, the whole change to getting a hollow in every single pack, it's fine. It's not too exciting or anything. I. Fighting energy. Oh, we've got a leaf. Have pulled that one two other times, I believe, at least. Pinzer, Bill's transfer from AOL Mail. Ride on in a holographic ditto. Uh, that is such a cool looking card. I, I will admit that. Moving on. We have more code for you. What have I not said? Metal energy. Whoops. Well, oh, we got a dark energy holofoil. Dark energy holofoil. Now we need a metal energy one. And then. That's it, so I'll take that pack strictly because we got the uh, the basic energy, but the holofoil of it. There's the code for that. Fighting energy, and let's just go straight to it, ditto. So nothing too crazy on that one. And go in this pack over here. Go with psychic energy, and away we go. Bellsprout, Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, Nidorina. Erica's Invitation, we've gotten plenty of those. Oops, Amistar. We have gotten plenty of those. Let us see what we can do in this next pack. Fire Energy, and away we go. Cubone, Volpix, Rapidash, Nidorina, Raticate, Caterpie, Pidgeotto, and a cute Chansey. There we go, next pack coming at ya. And there's the code. Codes probably won't be active. Fighting energy until tomorrow. Meowth, Execute, Clefairy, Machop, Magneton, Nidoqueen, Victory Bell, Reverse Mewtwo, uh, and a Kabutops. There we go, getting a Holofoil Kabutops. Moving on to the next pack. There's the code. Dark, e oh, we got Metal Energy! We got Metal Energy! I, I think that's, I think that's every single energy actually now. Very nice. Nidoqueen, Magneton, Ponyta, Bellsprout, and Arbok EX, otherwise known as a Cobra. So we did pull a Charizard earlier. It was the full art, but as you can see, with the amount of packs we've opened up today, Fighting Energy, whether you've just seen the biggest hits or all of the hits, uh, a very nice arrangement! There's the Pikachu! It's walking across the street! It's walking across the street! And a happy Electrode. He's not pissed. Cool to see humans in the card. I guess you don't really see that too often other than the trainer cards. So, we got a Pikachu. We got a Pikachu, the one I was talking about. Don't forget, guys, next video you can go watch is the one of surprising Aiden of uh, his dream Pokemon day linked in the description. Definitely go check that out. Primate times two, B drill, and what a fun set Pokemon 151 is. Let us go with this pack, Psychic Energy, and another Lightning Holofoil, Psyduck, Ekans, Cubone, Onyx, Dragonair, Seedra, Pinzer, and Mr. Mime. All right, guys, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see you next time.